Sporters, are you looking for a new pair of shoes that are cute, comfortable, and can be worn every day? Finding your new go-to pair is now easier than ever with Rothy's. Their shoes give you right-out-of-the-box comfort, come in amazing styles and colorways, and hey, you can wash them. It's a new age, people! And the best part is everything Rothy's makes is better for the planet. So there you go. They've repurposed millions of water bottles into their signature thread that goes into every single one of their products. Millions of women wear Rothy's shoes every single day. And I'm definitely one of them. They're so comfortable. I wear my Rothy's every day. And I'm Asian. I'm not supposed to wear them in the house. But you can't tell me what to do. It's my house. Did you know that for People's Magazine's first ever style awards, they awarded best flat to one of Rothy's styles? When I tell you these things are comfortable, I mean, I cannot overstate it. All right. So step up your shoes and accessories this spring and get ready to be asked, hey, are those Rothy's? Plus, get $20 off your first purchase at rothys.com slash add to cart. That's R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com slash add to cart. Hello and welcome to another episode of Add to Cart, a show about the things we buy and buy into. I'm a very distracted Kulafil Isak. <laughs> and I am Sujin Park. Um, I I had to take myself off camera at the top of this record, Ku. Yeah. Because uh, uh, I was blowing your mind. Uh, I'm looking at you through a Zoom screen. <laughs> I have, um, I'm what I am accustomed to is a high Victorian collar, a Correct. bold, pointed collar. I really see half of your neck. What oh, God, my no. eyes are dining upon <laughs> is uh-huh. an entire meal here. I truly am <laughs> losing my mind. I, this is... It's a deep you collar. A deep scoop. I mean, you are giving me modern Bridgerton. I am seeing <laughs> layered necklaces. I do mm-hmm. not know. Wh- I, I, truly, I my breath is taken away. Well, also, the face and hair looks very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So wow. I just, what is going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, I'm soaking all of that in like a like a dried sponge that has been tossed in the garbage can, and now is being wetted. You are brand new. <laughs> well, you are brand new. You know, coup number one. I am adding to cart before we even start the show. I am adding to cart Claire's add to cart newly. <gasps> This is newly. Thank you very much. Woo-hoo! I got my first newly box. Wow. For those who do not know what newly is, and you didn't hear the episode which Claire talked about her add to cart, it yes. is a subscription service. And and we love rent the runway, but generally yeah. that's uh that's dresses, uh things to wear out uh on a on a on a date or or event. These are everyday wonderful wear stuff, right? Yes, but I think Rent the Runway and I've had subscriptions to Rent the Runway. They're fancier. You know, it's a little bit more uh-huh. expensive. Um, the brands are fancier. So there, there is a person and a version of me that loves that. Newly is way more wearable. It's very down to earth. They're more into recycling and vintage. You know, it's a, it's just more of that kind of a vibe. It's less expensive. And man, this newly box, I've been wearing it. And, and, I, and I thank you for noticing. Um, Sue, you look sexy. My new, my new, uh, my new newly self. This is, this is the newly version of me. <laughs> it, it will go back into a box and it will be returned uh, sure. in about three weeks. And I will go back to the version of myself. But it is fun. These subscription boxes are really fun because you get to try on things. I will never buy something like this for myself. I would and, never and, do and this. And that's why that's where you're wrong. <laughs> that's where you're wrong. I'll buy that for you. You no. look so good in that. 
No, I mean, you, just, you selected it. it. You I selected, selected it. it because I thought, oh, I would never do this. It's fun to experiment. It's a little bit playful. But I mean, I put this on also because we were going to record today. And I knew that you would enjoy seeing just a, a bit of my, I've never my seen uh, so much chicken skin. flesh. <laughs> I've never seen so much skin. The way you're glowing is is literally bringing tears to my eyes. Claire, thank you. Thank you for you also being witness to this. Because it's like... I'm crying. The, the, la- the lady doth protest too much. Oh, this is who Lord. you are. Mm-hmm. This is who you are. Year of the tiger, orange yes. with Wet black tiger. Pi- piping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, we'll post this on our, on our Instagrams because you guys... Get yourself a newly subscription and go ahead and rent this top <laughs> because it, it too sh- can be yours. So and, uh, anyway, no, huge not, add to cart. Not huge add talk to cart. about anything else. I'm not interested in anything else. <laughs> I need it to is, convince you that this is. is your look and yeah, that this well, is who, this is right. Oh, this is, this is too much work. But it's cute for an afternoon. You literally just put on a shirt. That's right. And uh, already I'm tired. <laughs> this shirt is tiring me out. It's too much effort. Just to remind remind our listeners, you have uh, frail, uh, rubber like wrists, and right. the stress you put on on your your delicate bird like fingers to to button each button <laughs> all the way to the top of right. your chin. Mm-hmm. Now this freedom of just slipping on a shirt with a large neck opening. That's all you have to do. Yeah, but you know, I you know, I went outside and I actually jumped. I I forgot that I was wearing this and when the wind, the wind <sighs> hit my chesticles, I was like, what am I doing? I got to cover up. And I had to had to put on a little I have I have, you know, swim towels outside and I just I just draped it over my shoulder as I walked over to get what I needed to get from uh, my backyard. I am worried that uh, I'm going to catch pneumonia. Yeah, well, not not even pneumonia that you are immediately sunburned because that that patch of skin has not seen the daylight <laughs> in probably a decade, decade plus. Oh, yeah. Daylight, oxygen, yeah, uh, yeah. changes in temperature. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There's a there's a, a ecosystem here That's that right. is frazzled and on high alert. Yeah. And I'm, as soon as the Zoom is off, I'm going to throw this off and put on another newly favorite, my denim button-up cape. <laughs> and I will send you pictures of that as well. <laughs> Before we get into our other add to carts, I mean, I, you know, heck, we started off with a game changer. You know, who knows yeah. where this episode is going to go? Um, we are heading into March. Ku and I agreed that it has been a pretty shit start to 2022. Tough couple of months if you're an Asian American woman. Yes. Um, obviously, with the publicized deaths of Michelle Goh and Christina, you know, Lee. Um, who was murdered in February. I mean, these are just the stories, by the way, that are making the headlines. I I say that uh, because the rise in AAPI violence and in our community is there's, it's not stopping. It's it's still happening, um, whether they're violent like these uh, deaths were or microaggressions or, you know, the attacks on the elderly. It's just been a really... It's been a really shitty beginning of the year. You know, there was one post that I thought was so telling of the moment of at least how I felt. And she was just like, can I live? You know what I mean? Can I go to work and get on a subway? Can I go to my own apartment, you know, safely? Can I walk to church? Can I walk in the middle of a busy street? Like, can I live? Like, no. You can't go about your day. You can't go to work. You can't go home. You can't be out in the middle of a, of a crowded city. No, because all of that is fucking dangerous. What are you going to do? Ugh, I, I, I find it hard to talk about it. Um, yeah. I'm filled with so much sadness and, and rage. And all I can think about is the moments before, the moments during Oh. Um, and then the moments after with these women's, um, friends and family. And so it's an, um, 
<sighs> yeah. I, uh, I'm just so sorry. You know, we texted each other um, the, the night after uh, Christina was murdered and I was just reading everything and I could not sleep. And I, you know, the thing that I kept circling around um, was like, boy, you know, we said we weren't going to get into it, but here we are and we can cut this. But, you know, ah, man, boy, I was not expecting this. Is like wh- when you see the surveillance stills of her walking to yeah. her apartment and in the hallway and they they say mm-hmm. some reports will say and we'll never know you know she maybe didn't even know that someone was following her and i think i beg to differ because as women we always know we have a sixth sense for things when something doesn't feel right i mean just the other day i was walking broad daylight and there was someone behind me and I just, I I felt so tense, you know, that I, you know, pulled over and just kind of walked in the middle of the street because I thought if something were to happen, at least if a car were to come by, I wouldn't be able to, you know, someone's not going to pull me into a bush. The amount of self-defense scenarios that we as women go through on a daily basis, just getting to our car, getting our groceries, going to the movies, coming home from seeing our friends, every step of the way is, is a potential landmine, is a potential place where violence can occur. And it, it is so heavy. And I see those photos and I think to myself, if that were me, I would probably know that someone was behind me and it didn't feel right. But I'm going home. You know, I'm so close to the front door and I'm about to walk in and it's going to be safe and it's going to be okay. We've all been versions of that scenario where we know something's not right, but we know just if we can make it a little bit further, we'll be okay. And it wasn't for her. No. And it wasn't for Michelle, who was just trying to take the subway um, back home. So, And what you're describing, just this, this need for vigilance at such a level, yeah. it's exhausting. exhausting. It's so exhausting. It's exhausting. It it robs you of um, so much. You know, it robs you of trust and it robs you. You know, I mean, there's a reason why I don't like people and there's a reason why I am like this. It's not all rooted in trauma and it's not all rooted in that, but a lot of it is. I don't want to fucking deal. I don't want to go out there and be on edge all the time for doing nothing. That's exhausting. I just, I would rather be home. So... I don't know. I'm so back in the hole. I'm so back in my home. (sighs) Getting getting newly sweaters, feeling alive, but on my own. Because I don't think I'm I'm capable of being out right now. She fought to the end. Yeah. You know. She did. She did. And forty guys. 40, that number, just remember that, 40. Yeah. Um, yeah, I uh, I just, may her memory be a blessing. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have taken breaks. I went, you know, I did the I've, two I've full had, days. I had to. Yeah. I had to because I'm just, I think about this. It's too much. Every day I, I spend, yeah, like I just, yeah. Yeah, so I encourage, you know, anyone listening that feels very, triggered by this and feels shaky about it. I feel shaky about it. Um, It's totally okay to not engage and it's totally okay to not have the right thing to say. And it's, you know what else? Yeah. It's totally okay to still feel horrible days, weeks, months, and years after this violence. Yeah. Too. Like, I think so much is like, you know, especially with the way news cycles and social media goes, it's like on to the next, get over it, you know, move on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you look great in that shirt. 
Can I buy that shirt for you? Now, Claire and Sue, I hate to report this to you, but um, it was one minute ago when I realized I was not recording. <gasps> All right, so we we just we just d- dove right in. What, uh, what you wanna you wanna get to some add to carts here? I mean, I do official I do. add to carts. Yeah, yeah. Let's get. Oh, uh, I just uh, want to ask you guys to please listen to me guesting on the deep dive uh, for their lifelong learner series where we go in depth about tablescaping. So it's it's quite a listen. It's yeah. very delightful. There's a lot of dynamics at play here that have nothing to do with tablescaping, but we do talk about it quite a bit. I'm about halfway through the episode because, you know, you got to take breaks. <laughs> There's just so much information. There's so much side talking and under the breath just cuts that I'm like, did she just say I need to 15 second, 15 second, 15 second play again? <laughs> that podcast continues to delight. But you three together, it's like it's like you guys forgot you were recording a podcast. Um, oh, it's so fun. I mean, it truly is just just around the fire, just picking and prodding. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's like three sisters. You're both <laughs> hugging and cat scratching each other the whole <laughs> way through it. You don't know what's coming next. You got to stay on your toes. Yeah. It's either blood or, you know, a fluffy pillow, but you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You feel alive, though. Yeah. You really do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why you got to take breaks from it and go go dead. <laughs> you can't be alive for that long. And wear a scoop neck. No. I don't have enough energy <laughs> for that. It. That's a, it's a scoop neck. It is. It really is. But no, I think it's a you, actually. It is a you. Yeah, it was really hard to find a sports bra of mine that uh, oh, fit this shape. Let me just say, wow, did I have to go digging through some just some nasties, you know? Real quick. Do we have any bras <laughs> with underwire? Oh, do we? Ha- <laughs> no. No, okay. I can't None. even Zero. imagine that. Okay. Underwire. Our, okay. Just, again, we will get to add the cards. Do we have, <laughs> like, even a, a bralette? Do we have anything other than a sports bra? Well, they're not even sports bras, right? It's like I buy those bras where, you know, you just pull them on like pants, and then, you know, you just put them over your shoulder. You know, there's no, like, clasp. You know, you buy them in small, medium, large. Uh, look, just real quick, Cla- I wish you would look at Claire's face right now. <laughs> yeah. Even for Claire. Even uh, for Claire, Claire she was are you so telling me puzzled. you do an underwire? Well, you don't no. Do an underwire. No, 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 yeah. but I don't step into my bras. Oh, you don't? Well, <laughs> maybe you're not at that comfort level. I, I invite you here. Step into your bra, just pull it up, and there you go. That's the kinds okay, of this bras is, I have. This is, this is a example yeah. of when you bring something up mm-hmm. as if everyone does it. You said, you you know, I, I step into my bra like pants, you know, and then I put it over my shoulders. How else are you supposed to put a bra on? Over your head. Over my head? That's too much work. <laughs> it's so much easier just to... Put it on over your feet, shimmy it up past your butt, and then you you loop your arms through. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I to me, that's the easiest way a bra goes on. <laughs> it's just physics. There's nothing, nothing magical here. We don't need to, Kulov doesn't need to get this <laughs> hysterical. You really don't. It's just science. It's math. A to B, point A, what is the shortest distance? I'm just going to keep talking no, until Kula so catches her breath. Of, no, mm-hmm. no, hold on. Yeah. Go on. This sh- you're, you're, you have, you're tall. Yeah. You have long legs. Correct. So when we say shortest distance, yeah. it will be over your head. Well, you're traveling when I say shortest legs. distance, I don't, I don't mean distance as a measure of actual distance. I mean distance as a measure of energy levels. <laughs> 
Okay, so you are just um, redefining words. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does this go back to your wrist strength? I'm just really just no, trying to... it really doesn't. I mean, I like to get in and out of my underclothes with as little effort as possible. You know, I just put on my underwear and then I do the same thing with my bra. It's one motion for both. Okay. It's a okay. Conservation it's, uh, now, of I'm, motions. I'm, I'm just, I'm understanding yeah. now. It's because mm-hmm. you're, you're putting your underwear then bra. That's you right. don't want to, you don't want to raise the arms up. No. You're already, the, no. it's already, everything is already ready to go on the floor. That's right. And you just sort of. Pull it up. Li- pull it That's up. That's right. One, then two. two. Correct. Yes. Cool. Okay. I, I'm just, okay. I'm, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm try, that I, uh, will you try stepping into your bra tomorrow? Will no. you try it? <laughs> No, I have Clydesdales. I, ha- I got hips. My body shape is not conducive to this format. Really? Well, yeah. is your bra not made out of sock material? You know, just a stretchy knit? What is it made out of? <laughs> Tree bark? Oh, la- elastics. Yeah, elastics. Yeah, it's a, it, my sock and my bra could be the same thing. They are very similar in material, <laughs> texture, weight, and fabric. Oh, God. I'm going to send oh, a video food. attempt of this to you tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be covered. Yeah. But I'll just show sure. you what will happen if I try. Sure. I, th- Let's it, see it. it I, I will not try it. It doesn't make sense for my body. I have... I am a 34G. If I were to wear socks yeah. around my titas, <laughs> they would fall upon my ninas. <laughs> All right. So add to cart. <laughs> should we start the show? <laughs> you think we should start? <laughs> Claire, you're the one who's supposed to be honest about time. <laughs> Sorry, I got I got distracted by <laughs> Suchin's bra trapezing. Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Okay, you're right. I okay, love it. Let's get into your add to carts. Sue, so I think we should start with you. Okay. This product came up um, because you and I have been doing premium content for Apple, and we were talking about the latest TikTok trends and whether we would add to cart or not. Mm-hmm. And this is something that Claire had brought. This is a company called Mad Love, M-A-D-L-U-V-V, and it's an eyebrow stamp. So basically, you put a stencil on your eyebrows, and then you stamp the color on, and it's supposed to make drawing on your eyebrows very simple. And so I got it, and I've been playing around with it. Ku, you can see my right eye is stamped. Yes. And my left eye is right. Half of it Uh isn't there. And I'm going to do it for you if I can. Oh, my God. This is exciting. I'm going to get closer. (laughs) So you take the stencil, and you put it on your eyebrow. Let me see if I can line it up. Uh, Oh, wow. It's a little hard to see with um, on the screen, but here I am. And then you stamp it. Oh my goodness! And you're you're given multiple stencils, right? And you Correct. select and the I'll, one that and works I'll best show for you. you the pros and cons of it, and then okay. you take it off. Can you kind of see wow, it? Wow, I definitely yeah. can see it. So, the, wow, the pro is it's very user friendly. That like you can kind of if it you mess up, you can't really do it. Uh, you can't really mess up. You know, you can erase it with your little fingers and that sort of thing. I'm not a person that draws in her brows. Like, that is way too high-level skilled for me. But something like this, for someone like me, it's really simple. Um, It kind of is, like, no fuss. And you do have to tweak it a little bit, but it kind of works. Now, in person, it looks does look like a powder. So you just have to finesse it a little bit. You put a little eyebrow gel, maybe you define it with pencil. Again, I'm not doing any of those things. But (laughs) okay. Wow. And I also wonder because people who generally have this look are also wearing a full face of makeup, like they're contouring, they're doing all of that. So uh, yeah, like I wonder if like that's a it's a look. It's a look, okay. but I I can't say that it's not an add to cart. You know, okay. it's just one of okay. those things where it's not going to give you the perfect brow. 
you know, that maybe it's promising. But for beginners or people who kind of are low fuss and don't want, don't need that supermodel eyebrow, you know, that are obsessed with every single line, then this could work. Got it. I, I kind of, I, I wanted to hate it, but you don't. I don't. All right. Great. I don't. I love, I love it. That. So Thank Claire, you. how much, how Sugar much did Mama? I buy that for? <laughs> it was a lot. I think it was like, I, no, almost 50. Yeah. I think it yeah, ended up being 40. Yeah. Oh, okay. $40. Well, but I think you can buy iterations of this for pretty cheap. Or Claire, I was thinking this stencil, you could use it and maybe fill it in with your eyebrow, um, whatever you use, your eyebrow powder. And it kind of guides you. I think most of, you know, eyebrowing, if you call it that, is about like uh, trying to figure out what is the shape yeah, like yeah. that's really hard. Like especially for someone who do- who's never had eyebrows. So I don't know what my shape is. I've never had eyebrows. Yeah. So it, it is a, it is nice to have a stencil, and you could kind of use it, you know, with your own stuff. Mm-hmm. Is all I'm saying. So definitely worth a try, Claire. If you want, I, I'll send you the stencils, and you can try it. I was gonna say that's <laughs> the part I probably struggle the most with is is shape. Yeah. I mean, so potentially. I invested in in shapes for all of us. Yes. We should come together, decide which other shape <laughs> yes. is. I love that. I love Look that. Look at that. See? Oh, man. Don't you love an immigrant circle? <laughs> don't you love that? I mean, I don't know why we would waste those stencils. Yeah. I mean, I was planning. I was, I was going to forward these stencils on, frankly, to the both of you for you to try. Thank you, Sue. I want to talk about, you know, I know it's a couple weeks past, but I went on a lovely Valentine's Day weekend road trip with my sweet boy. I saw. Sweet, sweet boy. I had to get out of town. God, God I got to get. I was like. We just uh, talked about I, it. It's been a tough a, year. You needed a break. I needed novelty. That's the best way to put it. Oh. And these these old tired eyes needed to see something different. <laughs> Today I saw a lot of Sue's skin and I'm seeing it. But I don't know if I, I think I would be, I would have been shocked had I not been out in wine country, uh, Santa Inez wine country. Oh, yeah. And got to see just, just, it was, the the weather was perfect. Uh, we've never done like a wine tasting weekend. And that was, that was our activity. That was all we did. And so I just wanted to give some highlights of the, a few of Coos wine, winery. Rex. <laughs> okay. And I want to say that the two wineries that I really liked was Sunstone Winery and Robler Winery. Why? Well, I liked the wine. <laughs> it was tasty. <laughs> two, I liked the environs, the environment. It was beautiful. Outside, wine tasting is such a good, uh, at a winery, is such a good pandemic activity. And I want to add that at Roblar Winery, they had delicious food. Check, such check, 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 check. Now, quickly, got to remove from cart. Cuckoo can't have more than two wine tastings. Oh my God. Because you- it wasn't sloshed. I was definitely not sloshed, but I had a headache. Oh, yeah. Were you handsy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. No, no, because I wasn't, I, I wasn't like, because I was driving my yeah. sweet boy around. So I didn't feel like short. Was I, you know, buzzed? Absolutely. But I wasn't like sloshed. Yeah. But a headache came on. Oh. Pretty strong. Pretty but strong. But is that and typical almost... for when you drink wine? Or is that something that's happened as you get older or changed for you? I mean, we are marching towards death. <laughs> Yeah, sprinting is more like it. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm, I'm I'm not much of a sprinter. <laughs> uh, electric biking towards yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Moving rapidly, but less effort than you imagined. Yes. <laughs> um, but I don't know. It could have been a combination of also day drinking, not drinking enough water, and then drinking. you know having and then drinking. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, Sue. No. These are just my hunches, my wine hunches. 
And if nothing is more sure than a wine hunch, then get out of here, okay? But Sue, there was a game changer. What? On this trip. Hmm. And it's something that I think your daughter would be into. Okay. On the day that I got a headache, I, we started off for an 11 a.m. horseback ride, mm. private horseback riding um, experience with Vino Vaqueros. If you hit that link, you can kind of see it. Yeah. You're not drinking wine before or during, <laughs> to be clear. But you are riding um, in a winery oh. and also in just some private lands. And it's just, it's so gorgeous. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. And it's it was me and Scott um, and our uh, our guide, uh, Miss Savannah Laus. Her last name is Laus, which I thought was amazing. Yeah. Her dad's Hispanic, and it's spelled just like my country. Kismet. Kismet, kismet. And it was just the three of us riding. And then on the on our ride back, uh, we were joined by the Vino Vaqueros dog, Nana, who she just looks like a normal dog, but she she was like our guard dog. And Savannah was telling us that they have like little wild pigs and they have coyotes and so she makes sure that the horses don't freak out by mm. like sudden jumps or yeah. anything like that and then at one point nana just took off like silently took off and just flew into the distance and that's when i saw a coyote and she chased it down and i was just so like wow nana wow nana i need to be like you with my situation do you think now Nana has killed three coyotes and I don't I am I, I really want to be clear to everybody. I don't want to hurt the coyotes. Yeah. I want them to lead uh, beautiful lives. I just don't want them to feel comfortable in my yard. Yeah. But I was like, "Wow, Nana. Wow. I'm, I'm taking notes." Silently chases chases them. Not like Cuckoo where she's jingling bells, screaming, yelling obscenities carrying purses. Did you tell the instructor that there was another way to um, scare off coyotes? <laughs> that uh, if Nana needed a rest, um, yeah. that she could also use jingle bells. Well, I, it didn't come up because that would be um, as if I went to like a pilot and I said, there's another way to fly a plane. Um, <laughs> exactly. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Just run very fast and jingle bells and you'll lift up off the line. <laughs> That's right. Off the ground. Clutch your, your Gucci bag <laughs> close to your chest while you do it, of course. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of coyotes. You got to ask your Heidi Rose or your other ladies. There could be a significance to coyotes showing up uh, in your life. Interesting. I don't know what it is. Again. All right. Not a doctor. Is this your wine hunch? I love a wine hunch. And it is. Uh, most of my life is just one long wine hunch, isn't it? Are my brows a wine hunch right now? Better if you drink lots of wine That's before right. you look at those brows. <laughs> drink lots of wine and stay good distance it's away. Uh -huh. I want to talk about an ad to cart as well. Um, this is a product that both of us ha received to try, right? It's called Ravala. And Revela is a hair health and growth. I guess it's a serum. It, it comes in a bottle mm -hmm. and it yes. has the consistency it's, it, of water. Like it's very fluid. And um, I've been using this thing for almost six weeks. And I will share. You, you, ha you have a little bit of, I will of a patch yes. in the front. So I have a patch of hair that's pretty thin. And I lost it uh, really around the pregnancies. And it, it, it never grew back. I've, I've kind of been looking for something like that to help me grow this patch of hair. So I have to say that I, what I, the thing I like the most about Revela is that it's topical. Yes. I take so many supplements yes. a day that I, I, a lot of these hair Growth treatments are many, many pills. Yes. And having something topical, right? I was on board right away. Yeah. Uh, you know, there is something about it where you're just targeting the area, you know? So maybe this isn't 
you know, necessarily for someone who overall their hair is thinning, but maybe you can. There's enough of it. It is very light that you can put it all over your scalp. But for me, I was really drawn to it because I could really just concentrate on this one area. Um, and I'm going to show you some pictures. And I don't know, I can see the difference. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference. And I'm going to take better pictures and post them because um, I realize that I should have the same hairstyle. All right, I see it. So that the first photo is of me um, before I started the serum. Okay, so you see that corner? That's sort of where it is. Now open up the second picture. Oh, wow. Now, what you'll notice here, and for me what I notice, is look at my hairline. That's where I see the yeah, growth yeah. the most, is my hairline is pushing, is coming down farther. Yes. I notice, look at the, look at where the part is. And that's where I always have yeah. my part. Look how much more full the second picture is in the part than it is in the first picture. Yeah. So yeah, it, it. Is, it is a subtle difference, but it is a difference. My hair is for sure growing. And I see it because my hairline has little, I can see sh little baby hairs growing where there wasn't hair there before. Wow. Yes. And it's not um, something that has a consistency where you're, if you put it on in the morning and you want to go, it, it dries. And so there's no like oiliness to it. It's not goopy. Um, it was founded by a group of scientists, Harvard, MIT, Princeton educated. Okay. Whoa, smart people. Okay. Fancy smart people. Um, mm -hmm. And their original backgrounds were in cancer therapies, immunology, and this is important, AI for drug discovery. When they were tackling hair loss, they discovered a solution that nobody else has, that no other hair, you know, product like this has. It's called pro -selenol. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's something like that. Uh, yeah, it, it's got... Um I guess like it has like similar compounds found in like reishi mushrooms. That's right. Um, and th those are scientifically shown to help follicle cells grow. Yeah. And how they came up with this formula was that they used this AI technology to really figure out how real hair cells um, work and what actually contributes to real hair growth. It is toxin free. It is paraben free. It is hormone free. It is scent free. And they have six-week clinical trials where 97% of the participants reported some sort of healthy hair. So there's less shedding, there's growth, it's thicker. For how me, long, there's new how growth. How long for you? It, you know, you I started to notice it around four weeks, but the, wow. last, but the last two weeks, I've seen much bigger difference. Do you know what I mean? Than in the four weeks. Mm -hmm. So anyway, totally add to cart. Try it out. I really am seeing a difference, too. I'm looking at this hairline right now. You know what? It wasn't until I started to take the pictures. Yeah. Like, you really need to see side by sides to see, like, where the hair is growing. And I hadn't even noticed that my hairline was getting fuller. I was just really focusing on, like, the bald patch, you know, just to yeah. see. And I was like, oh, I don't know. It's still, you know, thin, thinner there than the rest of my hair. But... Until I saw the photo, I was like, oh my God, look at my hairline. My hairline, I can see the new hair growth coming in. And so that's going to grow and fill in yeah. a lot of that um, patchy scalp that I've got going on here. So it's an add to cart. It's easy to use, which is like, which is big, which is huge for us. So we love it. I mean, I know that's number one for you. I, I, I knew it before, but this episode really brought it home to me. <laughs> Sue, another amazing show, one that was cohesive, planned out, <laughs> on time, and so easy to edit too, right? Claire and Ivan, you're welcome. You're welcome for this show. All right, that's it. Uh, we didn't get to anything, but we got to a lot of things, you know? Thank you all for listening. We contain multitudes. That's right. If you like our show... And, you know, it's some episodes you may love more than others. But overall, if you like this show and what we're doing here, give us a rating and a review. You know, a nice one would be nice. Um, it helps people find us. So that's really important. 
And you can find everything we talked about on the show uh, on our Instagram at add to cart pod. And I think a lot of people don't realize this, but if you go in our link in bio, uh, there is a, a button that Claire uh, has set up where you can see all of the, like the direct links to the items that we purchase. So Sue, a lot of people were like, where's that foot balm? Where do I get that foot balm? Oh man, that link is there for you. All the links are. Didn't know that. If you want to stamp your eyebrows on, there will be a link there for you. That's right. And there'll be photos in the feed. So follow us. Um, All right. Also, you can leave us a voicemail. Uh, Sometimes uh, we give things away when you do. But leave us a voicemail. We love hearing your voices. 833-453-6662. Bye. Goodbye. Add to Cart is a production of Lemonada Media. Our producer is Claire Jones. Our mix is by Ivan Kurev and Veronica Rodriguez. The music is by Wasabi and produced by LA Made It and oh so familiar with additional music by APM Music. Executive producers are Kulap Vlysak, Sujin Pak, Jessica Cordova Kramer, and Stephanie Whittles Wax. Be sure to check out all the items we mentioned today on our Instagram at Add to Cart Pod. Also, please take a moment to rate, review, and subscribe to this show wherever you get your podcasts.